what is up youtube it is tati here and i am back with another youtube video and in today's video guys we are going to be doing some small box braids and this time i'm doing some shell parts now i'm not gonna lie to you guys i did not plan on filming this youtube video at all but when i was like doing the braids i'm like wait a second like this is worthy of filming because it was just so satisfying how these parts was coming together now shell parts has been around for a very very long time since forever now and i feel like the main reason that people like to get shell parts or you can call it free part is because you know they don't want like a specific side part they don't want a specific middle part they don't want a specific left or right side or you know they just want to kind of freely do whatever what they want do whatever they want with their hair or position their braids in whatever position they want to position it whenever it's done so yeah i feel like that's the main reason why a lot of people prefer shell parts or prefer free parting rather than box parts it's definitely not as common anymore but some people do still prefer it and some people still do get it so let me know down in the comment section below if you guys still get shell parts or if you prefer box parts i would really love to know you guys feedback on that this style took me about five hours to do it was amazing the client that i had she was amazing she had so much to share and that's one of the best things i love about being a braider is that you can just be able to um converse with you know different clients and everything and different people that you never met before or seen before and i think that it's really important to make your new clients feel very comfortable so that they will be able to come back as a returning client and in order to do that you just have to be able to talk and converse with them and be able to you know have conversation starters so if you're an introvert like me you probably might be wondering you know what do i say or how do you know what i mean like i, I really don't like talking to people i'm not a people person oh i don't know this person you know they're they're all up in my suite or they're in my house and i don't know who they are well first things first you may want to have some music playing in the background or if you're not a music person have a tv playing in the background so what i like to do is the first thing i do is i get my client seated i'll let them know like hey you can sit right there this is what we're going to be working at and then the first thing I'll do is say, is there any movies or TV shows that you're into? Is there anything that you wanted to watch? I'll pass them the remote control. They'll put on something. And probably the first thing we'll talk about is movies. You know what I mean? If that's not the first thing we talk about and they find a movie or they find something to watch or they're just jamming out to the music, then I'll say something like, do you have any plans today? And then they'll let me know if they have any plans today or they may just say no. You never know what they're gonna say, but if they're dry with it, then you obviously can scope out the vibe and see and hear that, you know, they may have a long day today and they don't wanna talk and that's okay. So since you've kind of scoped that vibe out, then now you know, okay, so this is not a client that likes to talk very much, so you don't have to talk to that person. But if they're talking as you're asking those questions and they're very much engaged, you can, you know, go off of their their vibe go off of you know their energy how they're feeling another example is to talk about work or to talk about school and ask you know any one of your clients that are working or are in school how they like it when i tell you that conversation goes so far because they have a lot to talk about when you ask them about their job or ask them about their schooling and you know, you can just, you just have to scope out their vibe and how they're talking and how they're responding. If they, if you know, you ask them, how do they like work? And they say, oh, it's good. Then you're like, oh, okay, that's good. It's good you like it. And it's just very dry. Then, you know, you kind of just, you know, go with the flow. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's not going to be awkward because you have your TV and you have your, or you have your music playing in the background. So if there's a silent moment we watching a movie. If there's a good movie playing, we are engaging in the movie together. If there's a good song playing, we're singing the song together. So at the end of the day, if you don't have any conversation, you do have that TV and you have that music in the background. So honestly, and at the end of the day, let's be real. If we really being real, if you're a braider, you know that half of the time, your client, she gonna fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> like she's gonna fall asleep if it's in the morning or if it's at the end of the day you just never know depending on you know who you have or how energized they are most of the time they end up falling asleep so you know don't worry too much about that just as long as you have your conversation starters and just you know scope up that per the client's vibe and you know just go with the flow go with the flow i promise you it's all gonna work out and at the end of the day if your work is good they're gonna come back they're gonna come back 
so yeah guys that's pretty much the gist of how i deal with new clients i'm actually really excited because i've been working on the weekends ever since having my son but i'm about to start working back full time so that means i'm about to have even more newer clients and i'm actually really excited you guys because it's been a very very long time since i've worked full time and um, i'm just really excited to get back into that wave i'm no i'm low-key kind of nervous though i'm, I'm, I'm low-key kind of nervous because i know it's gonna take a little bit more work and uh it's a lot more uh, it's definitely a new routine but i'm really excited though guys i know that i'm gonna get um, into the groove of things and we shall see but um yeah guys i'm just over here finishing up these uh shell parts and um, time lapse this style was just so satisfying to do like oh my gosh those parts it was so we literally we watched what do we watch while we were doing this we watched um oh it was a good move the shack it was my first time watching The Shack. I know The Shack came out a long time ago, but that movie was just so, so good. Like, it was a good word. So I got in a good word with this amazing client and some some bombshell parts, okay? And uh, yeah, guys, this is exactly how it turned out. So I'm just finishing up by putting some mousse on there, which is obviously one of my favorite parts of doing um, the finishing touches of box braids and braids in general. And um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all for this YouTube video. Just a little bit of a rant. Um, and um, yeah, this is the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like topic videos like this, and I will do more of that for you guys. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I already said that. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube video if you love my content. And I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Peace.